I saw this video here. Do you guys remember this? Uh, not this person. Um, do you guys remember this person, Fuzz ninety nine? What a weird name. It like actually. Uh, this is a, the the this is we did a video about this person. I put it up on my Papaga Leftovers channel. Um, and where it's like the most, I think I put like most hated LGBTQ, like or annoying LGBTQ account on TikTok, and I'm you know basically the video that they're obnoxious and like they're not really helping the conversation, and don't be, and it's like guys don't become homophobic because of this person. Um, <laughs> that's, my, that's what I said there. <laughs> um, there's been some crazy narrative going on about this person that I have not been liking. Right here, this is it. The most obnoxious LGBTQ TikToker, you know? And uh, I'm going to show you what it is because I don't like this person. They're obnoxious. They're rage baiting. They want people to tune in because you don't like them. That's what they're doing. They're being provocative and they're being annoying. But he, here's the thing. Here's something that this person... This is a, I've seen this narrative going on. This is just one of the videos that I found about it. This, um, I've seen the video a couple times and I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm going to play it for you. Because not every gay person feels safe in public... What makes me feel unsafe is that this 26-year-old is very desperately trying to cater to young children. I've seen this take a, a, a multiple times by different people, and this is how shit like this starts. The second somebody says some dumb shit like that, uh, people are like, you know what? And they're saying that because of how obnoxious the person is. And it's like, it's almost like they're basically saying that this person is Coco Melon. Right, because of the spooky, spooky haircut, spooky. Sp That's what they're saying. Like, like just the way that they're talking is like. All right, have any of y'all ever felt or thought you looked exactly like an emoji before? Right, shut up. So you see the kind of cadence in their voice and like how they're talking and they're like overexpressing. It's like, oh, maybe it's kind of like how you would make a cartoon show for kids, bro. What a reach! I just don't know what to tell you because now we're pushing the narrative that this is a groomer. That's what you're doing. You're trying to say that they're just trying to groom kids into their ideology. This is a very annoying LGBTQ person who is noticing that they're getting attention when they act fucking obnoxious and they want the attention. I highly doubt that it has anything to do with them trying to get other kids to get on board with their ideology. Ooh. Stop. You have to stop. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Every single time people don't like somebody, it, it, we jump to fucking, we jump to fucking, like, basically either pedophilia or rape or both. Because grooming is basically both of those things. You people are fucking obsessed with this shit. Okay, this is an annoying person. It's not that deep. And we don't have to go into it that deep. This is an annoying person that's in a relationship with another consenting adult. Like they're they're just talking about stuff. They feel they're educating people. They're annoying as fuck, but like they're not doing anything predatory, like you're trying to say. And it's just so annoying and embarrassing that you people are trying to do this stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. This person's getting a lot of views being annoying, and they're like, "Sure, I'll keep doing this." That's it. I came across with this person. It's, I didn't really watch what this person said about the, them. But uh, I watched the beginning of it that I watched was like kind of it seemed like pretty reasonable, so I'm gonna play it live for you guys. It seems like it might be a little old, so I'm gonna play this here for you. Okay, so it's my turn. I want to talk about this creator, all right? All right, talk right? About but I want to talk about them in an actual adult way, and I just want to say up front, a lot of y'all are doing the most about this person. True. And I'm gonna say that up front. If you don't agree, you might want to start scrolling now. So Maul is a creator on this app who goes by he, they pronouns, by the way. Um, and you can go ahead and check out their videos. They have been stitched and duetted for weeks now. And I've been just kind of watching as the comments true. went from this person is really annoying and loud. True, which is true. To now people are flat out accusing this person of being a groomer and a predator. That's what I'm saying, dude. Predator. And again, I think y'all are doing the most. Bro. So the way that Maul presents themselves like online, and especially on TikTok, is a very like cartoon-like, exaggerated mannerisms, kind of over-the-top personality, like this. Yeah. And they call. Why do I call them? If my pronouns are he, they, and I'm dating a girl, what the
Christ. You guys ever watch Dragon Ball Z? Mm. You ever watch Dragon Ball Z? And um, you re- remember the part where where uh, um, Frieza kills Krillin, and um, Goku. You hear like the hype. He's like he's going ah, and he starts to like power up, and he turns goes Super Saiyan eventually. That's the that's the feeling I get in my body when I hear that person say that. I got it makes me angry. It's so annoying. It's just the most obnoxious thing in the world, bro. I mean, I'm not. I just I can't handle how absolutely annoying and obnoxious that shit is, bro. It's just frustrating, bro. I hate it so much. I don't like that content creator. They're so obnoxious. And it's all like bullshit rage bait. And I'm fucking annoyed. And that's how, that's how I feel, bro. I feel like I'm having my, my hype moment from it. I'm a Dragon Ball Z character right now. Anyway, let's get back to the video. We're defending them. for. It. So the bulk of their videos are filmed mm-hmm. in that exact same style at that same volume. Um, and it is mostly centered around being queer. Um, talking about the different definitions of terms and terminology and uh, different gender identities and sexualities. And, and some of the stuff they say is dumb as shit. Because they're like, pronouns have nothing to do with your gender identity. or It's like, okay, then what's the point of a pronoun then? If it doesn't express your gender like identity or expression. Like if it has nothing to do, if it's not tied, why, well your pronoun is tied to your gender uh, identity if you if you identify as a woman you are a woman you, that would be she her pronouns if you identify as a man you have he him pronouns if you identify as non-binary you have they them pronouns the only times where that would be a little different would be like if you're still maybe like masking in some capacity so like maybe you're uh maybe you're non-binary but you you're a biological man um and you're so you use the he they so this way when you're in public you can kind of code switch a little bit like i can understand that but like fundamentally, if you're not if you if you don't tie your pronouns to your fucking gender identity, then what is the point? It doesn't it means nothing to you at that point. That's how that's how I look at it. Like, what does it mean to you if if like what does it matter then? What's what does any of this mean to you? You know. Um, see, I feel like I know a lot of people like them, and they either are like that to cope with wanting to. Jesus Christ, my wife, you're too based. They're either trying to cope with their own self harm ideologies. Or they actually overcame it and now are that positive and happy. Wow. Well, that's fair. My wife thinks that it's just a cope and they're that obnoxious because it's like a it's like a societal cope where like maybe they've overcome an obstacle or they're just trying to keep on a happy expression so that they like, okay. Jesus Christ, why is this segment so heavy? I can respect that. That actually that actually humanizes that person to me a little more. I look at that fuzz, I don't like I don't hate that fuzz person that much anymore. Just because you said that. If you, because I respect what my wife has to say. If you, if you feel that's genuinely one of those two things, then I, I can respect that. Maybe that person's not so bad. Okay, I respect that. They're still annoying, but I can understand where that uh, the 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 energy is coming from. That's fair. I respect that. Okay. My wife used to work with a lot of LGBTQ people, like or not work with. She used to be in like the gay straight alliance at school and stuff. So she's very within proximity of a lot of gay people. So you know, and she's also a social worker and stuff. So she has a little more. Uh, little more in tune with this kind of stuff she's not saying it clinically she says um i'm saying it as a friend involved in the lgbtq circle yeah there you go just she wanted to be explicitly clear about that okay let's continue within the queer umbrella and a lot of people have called into question some of this just because they feel like it's inappropriate that this person who by the way is 26 years old this person is an adult um a lot of people have called into question the fact that this person's content seems to be directed at children and it makes people feel uncomfortable So in an effort to learn more about this person and understand a little bit more about them, I decided to do what I always do. I scroll, 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 scrolled all the way to the beginning on both their TikTok and their Instagram. And what I saw was a very different picture than I think some people are seeing of this person. So number one, Maul is someone that has recently come out. Okay, that's, that's the same picture that I that I usually see. But this photo was just taken recently of them celebrating their second year of being out of the closet. So okay. they're still very new in their identity and still trying to figure out things for themselves. And okay. yes, some people come out later in life. And by the way, twenty six is not as old as some of y'all want it to be. It's a. It's. I feel like you're. You're get. I feel like twenty six is the. I wouldn't call a twenty six year old a kid. 
I know if I look back at my 26 year old self, I would call myself immature. So I, I understand what you're saying, but I think that you, you, you're, you're a decent amount of an adult, but okay. Number two, mall mm -hmm. is like a lot of people on this app where the quarantine period in 2020 was when they began to build a platform here on TikTok. Are they going like to show what they were like at the beginning? Else. Check out this video I found. On January 26, 2020, I posted my first ever TikTok. I just wanted to have fun and start expressing myself in the LGBTQ community. You see, I was really depressed, lost, full of self-doubt, and at one of my lowest lows around this time. I started watching more wonderful gay TikToks. I'm running out of room. There will be a part two. Follow for part two. Oh, well, I want to see part two. What the hell? Out of everything that... Like, there's so many. There's so many responses. Where's part one? Okay. So I used Mr. Rogers and Steve from Blue's... I don't know what this is about. Okay, fair enough. All right, I don't think we're getting a part two here. We're just getting answers to like your a bunch of questions, which I don't really care about. All right, part one was good enough. That's all we're getting, guys. It was a solid video. I can respect what she has to say. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching, and a special shout out to all my Patreon patrons, my YouTube members, and my Twitch subs. If you'd like to learn how you can contribute even more than you already are by simply watching the video, you can check the links down below, which will unlock a special feature depending on the platform that you subscribe to, such as Patreon here that will get your name right here on this wall. Thank you so much, guys, again for watching, and have a good one.